Welcome back to Honda Football. In today's first impression video, we're going to be taking a look at the Adidas Freak Ultra Cleats, also known as the Von Miller Cleats. Now what I have in this box is the launch colorway sent over from my partners at eastbay.com. As usual, I'm going to include a link in the description of this video if you decide you want to try to purchase these cleats. Now in this video, I'm going to give you guys a first look at the Freak Ultras. I'm also going to tell you some of the differences between the other free cleats that I unbox and review. Now I had the free carbons in the low and the mid, and this kind of sits somewhere a little bit in between. Before I get into the differences, let's take a closer look at the cleat. I just want you guys to see some of the detail. You can already see this bottom portion of the upper actually shines in the light. So they have this material that's here. I'm not sure exactly what's on in a hard drill, but it's gonna be something I'm gonna test out. But for now, you know this is gonna look amazing under the lights. Here I have a pair of the Freak Lows, and you can already see some similarities between these cleats. Obviously, there's the aesthetic design, and you see this one's a little bit higher, but then you can look at the forefoot, and you see that it uses the same type of iron skin. In the Freak Ultras, the two main similarities that you're gonna have between the Freak Carbon cleats in both the mid, the high, and the low, and the Freak Ultras are going to be the iron skin that you see here, that's a protective layer in the upper, and then you're actually gonna have the razor frame as well that uses sprint studs in the forefoot as well as the heel to give you that multi-directional traction. Now there's a lot more differences than there are similarities actually between these two cleats. With the Freak Ultras, these use a prime knit upper. So similar to the prime knit at a zero cleats, this is gonna use a prime knit upper. So this should be really supportive, really tight. I really like the way that the at a zero spit, so I'm excited to test this out. This is going to have a cuff in it. It's gonna provide some stability, it's gonna provide some comfort, and it should provide a little bit of protection. So we're gonna test that out. Now that's gonna be a little bit different, obviously, than the low that ends about here, and the mids that really give you a lot more support with the type of upper that's used. Now, these free cleats, these lows, as well as the mids, actually use carbon in the midsole as well. And the ultras actually use Boost. Boost should do wonders for the cushioning, should make it super responsive and super cushioned as well. So I'm excited to test that out. Now you can't see the Boost from the outsole like you could in the Ultra Boost cleats, but these do have Boost in the midsole. So uh, I don't know how thick it is. It's something I'm gonna try to find out and test out without cutting these cleats. I only have one pair, but I do wanna see exactly how uh, thick the Boost is. So maybe I can take out the midsole. I'll try to do that in the review. But these are gonna have a pull tab as well to make them easier to put on. And we'll have to see how much this stretches and how easy it is to put on. Now usually cleats that have something like a primate upper that have a really good fit and squeeze on your foot are a little more difficult to put on. That's one of the trade-offs, but that's something that I'm gonna test out. Now some of the detail that I noticed in this cleat first is going to be this thick cushioning around the Achilles and the heel that should give really good lock in. Your heel should slip right in under all that padding and then that should be really comfortable on your heel. The other one is the detail of the Von Miller glasses on the inside. So this cleat, obviously Von Miller is a linebacker. Uh, you guys should know what type of player he is. If you're not, definitely just search his highlights online. But this cleat is gonna have to hold up for him. So this should be very durable, very comfortable. And because it's got the prime knit upper, I expect it to be a lot lighter than the free cleats that I reviewed. Definitely, if you haven't seen that review video, check it out, see uh, what I said about that. Definitely a great fitting cleat. They're a little bit on the heavier side for the freak line compared to the added zeros, but this should be a little bit lighter because of the prime knit. You can see that this is actually a one piece upper as well, similar to the added zero cleats and the added zero prime knits. Uh, the freaks are not one piece, so this should provide a better fit along with some of that compression from the prime knit. So this is offered in a number of different colorways. You can check them out on the East Bay site. Again, I'm gonna include that link in the description. Now these retail for $180. That's definitely a premium over the Freak Lows, which retail for $90, and the Mids that retail for $100, and then the Highs that retail for $120. And even the Sunday's Best Collection is $150, so this is gonna be the top of the line Freak Cleat. This is gonna be one of the most expensive in the Adidas line. When I do my detail review, I will compare them a little bit to the Freak Carbon Cleats, and just see what are the differences and how they're gonna feel on your foot, different between the Mids, the lows, and as well as the Freak Ultra. And I also know that some of you guys already have these cleats. If you're out there and you have these, definitely comment below. Tell me some of the things you like about the cleat. Tell me some of the things that you don't. And if you're excited to see this review, also comment below and let me know what you're excited to see, and I'll make sure that I include that in the review. So for now, this is my first impression. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like my videos, remember to give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh -huh.